Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. During this time, he was preparing the people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See, 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 I, I, I want you to know, uh, here we see that Israel did not have an instant theology mentality. And what I mean by that is, is this. They did not get into slavery one day and get out the next. Mm -hmm. Israel was in Egypt for 430 years. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that old TV show with Bob Denver. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gilligan's Island. They left on a three-hour tour and ended up on the island for years. Oh, bless his name. Uh, 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 uh. We find out that this time was a time of preparation. Yahweh was preparing the people. Mm -hmm. What was he preparing them for? Well, he wanted some stability. He wanted some stick to itiveness. He wanted some faith. He wanted some belief. He wanted some spiritual eyes. He wanted some steady legs. He wanted some strong backs. He wanted some people whose knees wouldn't bear, uh, fell out under the bearing the weight of prayer. He wanted some people who were steady free. Oh, bless his name. Yahweh wanted people who would be able to hang in there when adversity showed up. He wanted someone who would not turn tail and run. So he took his time in the delivery process. He groomed them every step of the way. And when the time was right, that is when he blessed them. Oh, bless his name. That was a word for somebody. When the time was right, right that's when he blessed them. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So he took his time in the delivery process. Israel spent 430 years in Egypt. And it was still, uh, the time was not right that Yahweh delivered them out of the hands of the oppressor. Mm -hmm. Not only did he deliver them, but he also sent them with their enemies' stuff. Mm -hmm. If we just learn to wait on Yahweh and be of good courage, uh, they shall mm -hmm, renew their strength. Mm -hmm. We shall mount up mm, with wings as eagles. Huh? Oh, what does that mean, Pastor? Well, I'm glad y'all asked. I keep telling y'all, y'all ask real good questions. Uh, we will be able to soar above our storms. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We can run and not be weary. That means that we can stay in the race and not be tired, oh bless his name. Amen. Walk and not faint. Means that we can walk this race with confidence and not give up. Oh bless his name. It's all done with timing. Mm -hmm. See, a person who, 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 who runs a race, they just don't get up and start running. They have to take time to prepare. They have to build up their endurance to stay in the race. Oh, bless his name. Wait on him. Bless his name. Wait on him because his timing is not ours. Mm, mm, mm. If we would just learn to wait on him, I know that something is going to happen. I, I know that sometimes when you're in the race that it's hard, but I found out that he does not come when you want him. But he's always uh, on time. Wait on him because he's working out something in us. And it's working together for our good. Oh, when I'm um, in his will, Oh, bless his name. And 
on his time, it always works out right for us. Mm -hmm. Keep your focus on him and not your situation. Oh, it's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We looked at the parting. We looked at the period of time. Let us not forget the reason was the Passover. Bless his name. Verse 42 reads thusly. And it says, It is a night to be observed unto Yahweh for bringing them out of the land of Mizraim. This night is unto Yahweh to be observed by all the children of Israel through their generations. Bless his name. This is a remembrance of what Yahweh did for his children. Only those who are in true relationship are part of the congregation are allowed to celebrate. And, and I found that very strange because why, why would he tell us this? Well, basically, if, if you weren't a participant in what he did, if he hasn't delivered you from something, you really don't have no reason to celebrate. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. See, when the team goes out and play, even though you're sitting on the bench, you're still part of the team. But you don't have that same joy as the person who made the last shot that won the game. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, so we find out mm -hmm, that foreigners are forbidden to eat the Passover lamb unless they are circumcised. See, if you have no part in Yahweh, what does it mean to you? Nothing. It means nothing because you don't believe. Oh, you got to believe. Oh, you got to trust. You got to have faith in him that he said he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Oh, bless his name. More importantly, mm -hmm, uh, more importantly, uh, uh, if you would have, if you would have no significance, more importantly, it would have no significance to you because you have no part. It would mean nothing or anything to you because it was not you who were grateful for all that Yahweh did and has done. Bless his name. Because you don't receive the benefit of being bound, you really can't receive the benefit of him delivering you. You really can't praise him for something that you ain't been through. Hallelujah. If that doesn't make sense. If I can make it live for you. Mm -hmm. You really don't know what it's like to be free. Unless you've been bound. Hallelujah. These instructions are very clear. Also it is instructed that the lamb must not have any broken bones. 